know, when I first got invited to design a stick, I, I dreamt up a kind of Frankenstein's monster. You know, oh, I want this, but I want that, and I went like this, I went like that, and, and yourself and Neil, you know, made that for me. And when I got it, it was just unplayable. So I realized then, and I wrote you an apology email to say, okay, I now understand that making a stick <laughs> requires some skill. And you know, it's, it's, a, it's a work of art. And so we've gone through, what, four different versions of it until I'm really happy. And I'm a very fussy sort of person. I'm really happy with the balance of it. Well, you know, in Porcupine Tree, we play quite dynamic music. Some of it's quite heavy, bordering on metal. Some of it's very light, sort of psychedelic stuff. So I need a stick that's a bit of an all-rounder, you know, versatile enough to play really heavy, but it right up against something that's really light. You know, I'm a kind of old jazz drummer at heart, and I really like if I can get a nice ride cymbal sound. But as I said, in Porcupine Tree, we, we do play pretty loud, so with a nice jazz stick, it's not going to work in that situation because I'm going to destroy it when I start hitting the bell really hard. So the tip does give me what I think is a really nice kind of jazz, just, you know, time kind of sound. But, you know, with the, with the shoulder on this thing, it's got enough meat on it that when I start really hitting the bell, the stick's not going to explode and I'm going to get a really powerful bell sound. I've been using Vic Grip, you know, on the rock model, and from the second I got my hands on it, I thought this is the thing for me. It feels like I don't have to grip as hard, and therefore, over a long concert, a two and a half hour concert, I don't feel like I'm getting so much fatigue, because, you know, when, the, when you feel like the stick is slightly slipping away from you, you start gripping too hard. I'm so used to it now, you know, when I pick up a stick without it, I instantly get that old feet, that old sort of paranoid feeling like, oh, it's going to go away, I'm going to lose it, you know. And I'd forgotten that. I'd forgotten that I used to play with that, with that feeling like, oh, it's just moving. And uh, so I, I, I can't imagine ever going back again. Sticks are sort of things that you, you're kind of unaware of. If they're good, you don't know they're there. It's only when sticks are wrong that you start to think, oh, it's front heavy, or it's back heavy, or it's not straight, or you become more aware of sticks when they're not right. So when I pick up these sticks, I just play, and I don't have to worry about the sticks, because I know they're, they're, they're balanced, and they're straight, and they're gonna do what I want them to do.